Hey, welcome back to another adventure story. Today, we're uncovering the extraordinary life of J.R.R. Tolkien, the legendary creator behind The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Do you know the secret of this expedition? Maybe you are thinking about what these are. Don't worry, be with me as we uncover the secrets of this master storyteller, from his childhood passion for language to his lasting impact on modern fantasy. His remarkable turning points in his life will shock you, so get ready for a journey like no other. Early Years of Life Imagine a sunny day back in 1892 in a place called Bloemfontein, South Africa. That's where our hero, John Ronald Ruel Tolkien, began his journey. His dad was an English bank manager, and his mom, Mabel Suffield, looked after him and his little brother, Hilary. But life threw a tough curveball when Tolkien was just three years old. His dad passed away from something called rheumatic fever. That's when Tolkien, his mom, and his brother moved to Kings Heath, Birmingham to live with his grandparents. Tolkien's early days were spent soaking up knowledge like a sponge. He went to a couple of schools, like King Edward's School and St. Philip's School. Then he scored a scholarship to go back to King Edward's. Life wasn't all sunshine, though. In 1904, Tolkien's mom fell ill with something called acute diabetes and sadly passed away. But in the darkest of nights, a guiding light emerged in the form of Father Francis Xavier Morgan, a dear friend of his mother from the Birmingham Oratory, stepped in to help raise him. Fast forward to 1911, a pivotal year in Tolkien's saga. With dreams as vast as the Shire and ambitions soaring higher than the eagles of the Misty Mountains, he set forth to Exeter College, Oxford. At first, he was into studying ancient stuff, but then he switched gears to English language and literature, and boy, did he excel. He graduated with top marks in 1915. Now, let's talk about creativity. In 1913, while at Exeter College, Tolkien penned his first poem from the many willowed margin of the immemorial Thames. Quite a mouthful, huh? It got published in the college's magazine, and that was just the beginning of his literary journey. So, it was about the early days of J.R.R. Tolkien, filled with ups and downs, but always leading toward greatness. Stay tuned for more tales from this master storyteller's life, Livelihood. In 1909, J.R.R. Tolkien embarked on his literary journey, penning the first lines of what would become the Book of the Fox Rook, a humble notebook that would later stand as a testament to his imagination. But this was just the beginning. As he delved into the Book of Lost Tales, crafting tales like The Fall of Gondolin, Tolkien's path took a dramatic turn. In 1916, the Call of Duty led him to the trenches of the Lancashire Fusiliers, where he faced the horrors of the Battle of the Somme. Stricken with trench fever, Tolkien bid farewell to the battlefield in 1920, retaining his rank of lieutenant. His journey then led him to academia, where he made his mark as a scholar at the Oxford English Dictionary and the University of Leeds. But it was in the realm of storytelling that Tolkien truly shone. With the Lord of the Rings trilogy, he captured the hearts of readers worldwide, cementing his place in literary history. Yet, Tolkien's creative well knew no bounds. From whimsical tales like The Father Christmas Letters to the timeless adventures of Tom Bombadil, he continued to enchant audiences of all ages. Though he left this world in 1973, Tolkien's legacy endures, a testament to the enduring power of imagination and the magic of storytelling. Important Publications Now, close your eyes and imagine it. The year is 1926, and Tolkien, our intrepid hero, finds himself faced with a quest of legendary proportions. Armed with nothing but his wit and his trusty quill, he sets out to translate the ancient epic poem Beowulf. But hold on to your hats, folks, because this is where things get truly fascinating. You see, this masterpiece of translation wasn't unveiled to the world until 2014, long after Tolkien had embarked on his final journey. That's right, my friends, and talk about leaving a lasting legacy. But that's not all. Fast forward to 1937, and Tolkien unleashes upon the world his crowning achievement, The Hobbit, a tale of adventure 
of daring deeds and perilous escapades, all set against the backdrop of Middle Earth's most fantastical landscapes. And get this, folks, it was originally written for adults. But wouldn't you know it, the whimsical charm and heartwarming tale captured the imaginations of children everywhere, proving once and for all that age is just a number when it comes to great storytelling. But wait, there's more. As Tolkien's legend grew, so too did his ambition. And thus, over the course of ten long years, he crafted his magnum opus, The Lord of the Rings. Can you imagine the dedication, the sheer determination it took to bring such a monumental work to life? Published in three parts between 1954 and 1955, this epic tale of friendship, courage, and sacrifice captured the hearts of readers around the world. Achievements. His achievements extended far beyond the realms of literature. In 1954, he received honorary degrees from the National University of Ireland and the University of Liège. Queen Elizabeth II honored him as a commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1972. The Silmarillion earned him the Locus Award for Best Fantasy Novel in 1978. Over the years, he received numerous accolades, ranking on lists such as the BBC's 100 Greatest Britons and SABC 3's Great South Africans. His masterpiece, The Lord of the Rings, was celebrated as the UK's best-loved novel and Australia's favorite book in respective surveys. In 2008, the Times recognized him as one of the greatest British writers since 1945. Even in death, his influence endured, as Forbes named him the fifth top-earning dead celebrity in 2009. Tolkien's impact transcended literature, leaving an indelible mark on culture and society that continues to resonate today. Personal Affairs Let's take a closer look at the life of J.R.R. Tolkien beyond his literary achievements. Tolkien's personal journey was marked by love, adversity, and enduring legacy. At just 16, he found his soulmate in Edith Mary Bratt, but their romance faced hurdles until he turned 21. In 1916, they exchanged vows and embarked on a journey together, blessed with four children. Yet tragedy struck with Edith's passing in 1971, and Tolkien followed her just 21 months later, their love story transcending even death. However, his son Christopher ensured that his father's legacy lived on, posthumously publishing works like The Silmarillion. Tolkien's literary masterpieces, including the Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit were not confined to the pages of books, but immortalized on the silver screen, captivating audiences worldwide. Today, Oxford University honors his memory with the J.R.R. Tolkien Professorship, while Tolkien Reading Day serves as an annual celebration of his enduring influence in schools worldwide. As we stroll through cities like Birmingham and Oxford, Adorned with blue plaques commemorating his association, we're reminded that J.R.R. Tolkien's legacy is not just a literary one, but a testament to the power of imagination and the enduring impact of storytelling. More facts. His linguistic prowess extended across a multitude of languages, encompassing Latin, French, German, Middle English, Finnish, and more, driven by his insatiable thirst for linguistic knowledge. This passion for language construction gave birth to Quenya and Sindarin, two intricately developed tongues that laid the foundation for his legendary tales. At Oxford, he delved into the depths of Old Norse and Old English, further enriching his linguistic repertoire. In a remarkable testament to his literary impact, in 1999, a staggering 250,000 Amazon customers crowned his magnum opus, The Lord of the Rings, as the book of the millennium. Today's video is packed with excitement, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you found the best, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. See you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.